Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you the best features of iOS 9 running my iPad, so let's jump right into the video. So like I said guys, here's my iPad 3. I'm going to run through the best features of iOS 9 for you guys to expect this fall. This is the latest version of iOS 9 right now in August 2015. So let's jump right into the features. First off, Siri has been updated to include better search results. Essentially, it will actually suggest results for you. You can go ahead and type anything in and it will pull it up. The search results will be more in depth. It'll work a little bit better. Overall, I think you guys will like it a little bit more. It's a little buggy on the beta, so I'm not actually going to show that to you right now today. Moving on is app switching. Basically, you'll be able to do different multitasking on the iPad. If you can see here and I double tap, it goes to the multitasking view. It looks a little bit different. Um, you can swipe up to get rid of apps as well. You can view them side by side on the iPad. Works a lot better than it used to work and I like the interface a lot. Moving on, there's going to be follow-up questions to Siri and it'll actually give you context. So like I said, this is a new design Siri. It's similar to the Apple Watch as you guys can see by the design here. Um, and it will actually allow you to follow up with questions. It'll answer better. It'll be more accurate in general. I think you guys will like that. It's similar to the Apple Watch design that I have here in terms of Siri. A lot more accurate, a lot better results. There's going to be a new news app, so if you or notes app, so if you go ahead and open up the, the notes app, as you can see, it tells you you can add almost anything, so you'll be able to add maps, photos, all those good things. You'll be able to organize your thoughts with bullet points, checklists, essentially everything rather than just a list. And you'll also be able to find different things in a browser, an attachment browser, so it'll be much more than just a list of notes as it was in the past. In the Maps app, they're actually adding public transit directions, which is very good. I know a lot of people have wanted those throughout the past, so it'll be similar to Hopstop. You'll be able to see where you're going in the city, how to get there. It'll work a lot better, and the directions will just be updated a lot better for city and public transit travel. There also is a news app, as you can see here in the lower left. I'll go ahead and open it up. Similar to Flipboard, it lists all of your news right there in an easy to see setting. You can go ahead and click on any article. It'll go ahead and pop up and load it. Great way to view news, directly integrated, just like Flipboard. I really like this a lot. There's also a search settings menu if you go into settings you can actually edit what will show up in the actual search a lot easier it'll be a lot more accurate you can choose exactly what you want to show up there also there's gonna be a selfie ad uh, album in this in the settings of the photos you'll be able to take a photo it'll separate it out into selfies and regular photos which is very good I know they're trying to focus on the actual selfie a lot because I know a lot of people actually use those selfies and finally there's gonna be app suggestions and search so when you pull down here it'll actually show up apps again in search and you'll be able to see exactly what applications will be able to customize it. It'll be much, much more full featured and search your entire device. So for the most part, they're going to include new multitasking, a couple new applications like news, and they're also going to be revamping the search a lot. I'm really excited about iOS 9. Other than that, it's going to be quicker, have better battery life, pretty much the standard incremental upgrades. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, this was a review of iOS Beta 3. Go ahead and subscribe and rate thumbs up down there. Also follow my social networks and links for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps down down there for free. Really appreciate it guys, it helps me out. Hopefully you enjoy this, I'll have a review of iOS 9 when the official version comes out later this year. But if you did, be sure to stick around for more. I'll catch you guys in the next video and hopefully you enjoyed. Peace.